Okay, I'm letting go. Music is just nothing more than sound waves in some sense for physics, and that means everything that we can understand about music and sound is all has to do with wave propagation. It's a very classic problem in physics. And um, flipping that on its head, once we sort of understand some of the physical properties about waves, it then informs, gives sort of a deeper understanding about how instruments work, whether it's a saxophone or a guitar. And It's just a really nice demo to come outside a nice human sized scale to wander around and what we do is set up two speakers side by side so we got two tones coming out of them and it's a really striking pattern that forms sort of loud soft loud soft and so if you've ever been to a concert here a bass really pumping away that's and you walk it around it kind of goes quiet it's just waves interfering if it goes loud it's waves interfering so it's just a really nice demonstration of that physical principle in a hearing and music context. Joe's gonna DJ. Somebody else wanna DJ with him? Joe, you know what's gonna happen to that salt man while you throw it all over the plate? Uh, just so it's evenly distributed so that when Emery adjusts the frequencies, that it will be able to reach its uh, little nodal structure easier. So right now Emery is just adjusting the frequencies and as you can see when the salt is kind of staying stationary, that's when it's hitting its nodes, which essentially means that at those points, the plate really isn't vibrating. Um, and so that kind of adjusts how the violin, in this case, would sound. Just so everybody knows, we expect everything's going to be fine, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> should anything blow up, do get to the exits. So we've been looking a lot at what are called resonance modes and tubes, and it's the sort of most basic fundamental way to the physical mechanisms of the waves bouncing back and forth, standing waves they're often called. And the fire demonstration is a really visual dramatic way to see, we talk oftentimes about pressure and velocity and things that you can't see or feel, so when you have fire shooting out of tubes, everyone gets fire back to pressure, and, and so it's a really dramatic visualization of what's happening different sensory experiences they have, it's much more meaningful. It's one thing to do, uh, draw things on boards, on the chalkboard, but um, when you get to see something, or you get to feel something, you get to hear something, that sort of sensory experience, that multi-sensory experience, I think it really brings home the message and, and makes it very real. 